Hi guys, thank you for joining me. I really hope you enjoy this class. Um, we're going to be focusing on opening the spine. So there'll be uh, lots of bending back and forth. Let's begin on hands and knees. And we'll move through a few rounds of cat-cow. Let's begin slowly as we inhale. Look forward, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, press the floor away with the hands. Really squeeze the forehead towards the sacrum. Tuck that tailbone like someone's poked you in the bum. Inhale, lengthen, look forward, gaze towards the sky. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, gaze towards the sky. Pop that bum up high. Exhale. Maybe close your eyes and tune in so you can really feel the movement of the spine. Observe any points of tension. Take your attention there. So scan the spine all the way from the top of the neck, all the way down to the tailbone, just to expand your awareness of your own body. And as you begin to expand your focus throughout the whole spine, you're really connecting with sensation there and you're feeling it begin to warm up. You can always take the speed up a tiny bit. Keep the core engaged so you start to feel the heat building. Keep bringing your focus back to the here and now, back to the spine, feeling your body. Let's begin to slow it down again for the last two. One. Come to neutral. Take a second, feel the body. Tuck the toes, extend the left arm, extend the right leg. Stay in here. Or option to kick the right foot high. Maybe reach behind you. Kick the back foot into that hand. Inhale, open the left shoulder. Exhale, kick a little bit higher. Two more breaths. Exhale, gently release. Do your variation on the opposite side. You might have more balance and more strength on one side. Extend that right hand. Left leg, pause, connect with your core, find your balance. Option to bend the foot, option to clasp. Option to kick and breathe. Release. Hands down. Up dog, down dog flow just for 10. Inhale. Exhale. That's two. Three. Keep connected to the core and feel as though you're being lifted from the core as you pull back. And try and connect with a sense of lightness. Feel that buoyancy in the body. Last two. Last one. Come back down to the knees. Sit on the heels, turn the palms up. Take just a second to feel the body. Observe those new sensations. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Come on to all fours. Right foot steps forward, ground down through the hips so you get that lovely stretch of the left hip flexor, interlace the fingers, inhale lift the chest high and if it's there for you take it back, breathe. Exhale. 
Exhale. Hands down, you can keep the knees bent or you can come up and chaturanga. Inhaling up. Exhaling back, just one breath here. Left foot steps forward, drop the right knee, ground the hips, feel that stretch through the right hip flexor. Inhale, reach the hands up, exhale, clasp. Reach the heart forward as you squeeze the shoulder blades together. Option to take it back. Exhale, come back to hands and knees. You can keep the knees bent or straight leg push up. Inhaling up, exhale, take it, take it back, take a breath. This time, we'll step the right foot forward and come all the way up into our high lunge. Inhale here, feel the openness through the left hip flexor. Tuck the tailbone to create more length in the spine. Suck the abdominals in and up, press down actively through your front heel. Reach the hands high, exhale into lace. Inhale, open the chest, lift the heart to the sky as you take the hands back. Option to drop the back foot and fold forward. Reach the hands high, melt down, three breaths. Exhale, release the hands down, right foot meets the left, chaturanga. Inhale, coming upward dog, exhaling downward dog. Inhale, lift the right foot high, exhale, open the hip. An option to come into your wild thing. Reach the right hand high. Feel the openness, the flexibility of the body here. But also a sense of lightness. Exhaling. Come back. Step the left foot forward. Ground down through the left heel. Open the heart. Tuck the tailbone. Reach the hands high. Interlace the fingers. Opening up. Drop the back foot, fold it forward, three breaths. Release the hands down. Take the left foot to meet the right. Straight, strong, energized, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, left foot lifts, open up, exhale, coming into your wild thing and again connect with that sense of lightness here, as though someone's pulling you up by the hips, and exhale, bring it through. Chaturanga, inhaling up, exhaling down, right foot steps forward, inhale warrior one, exhale warrior two. Now we're going to bring, excuse me, the right forearm to the right thigh, tuck the tailbone, reach the left hand overhead and then take that left hand behind you and press the head into it. So you're opening up through the front body, opening up through the back body here, breathe. Lovely. Now you're gonna drop the left knee hands to touch and we're going to take a twist. 
You can keep the back foot tucked, knee down, or you can lift the knee and take the foot to 45 degrees, breathe. Just three breaths. Take your attention to the breath. Feel the body. Come down, hands down, right foot meets the left. Chaturanga, coming up, take it back. Option to come back into our wild thing or lift up high through the hips, take that right hand down, spin the left hand as you come into your wheel pose, breathe. Inhale, exhale, flip it back round. Come into your plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. I'm gonna step the right foot forward and I'm gonna spin round to the left. You can go ahead and just step your left foot forward. Coming into your warrior one, coming into your warrior two, left forearm, left thigh, reach up and over, feel the length all the way from your right fingertips, all the way down to your right heel, breathe. Exhale, hand to the back of the head, push into it, open up through the front body, get that little back bend in the back, breathe. Exhaling, drop the right knee, hands together, twist. Staying here, or we'll pop the foot up, drop it down, open up. Exhale, hands down, left foot meets the right, chaturanga. Inhaling up, exhaling down. This time, left foot lifts. Exhale, open up into your wild thing. Lift the hands high, lift the hips high. Option to come into your wheel. Take it back. Last chaturanga, inhale, exhale, feet to touch, knees apart, take it back, take a breath, feel the body, tune in, observe any new sensations. Inhale, gently rolling up. And now we'll come into our standing splits. So, right foot steps forward, connect with your center. Exhale, take the hands down, lift the back foot, breathe. You can walk the hands in towards the foot. Option, bend that back foot. Reach around to clasp the left foot with the left hand. Kick the foot hard, actively into the left hand. Open up, breathe. Gently release, same thing, opposite side. Inhale, lift the right foot high. Exhale. Inhale, connect with the heel, the length of the hamstring, lengthen. 
Then exhale, start to fold the torso into the leg, maybe walk the hands in towards the foot, breathe. Option, bend the back foot. Reach for the right foot with the right hand. Kick the right foot into the right hand. Inhale, open the shoulder. Exhale, gently release. Come down onto your knees. Take a moment, connect with the breath, feel the body. Now we're moving into our final back bends. Remember, just do whatever feels right for you. So I'm gonna invite you to take wheel pose, if that's, something you practice and then you can go ahead and come straight into that if you prefer to take bridge that's absolutely fine so if you're coming into wheel take the fin fingertips under the shoulders step the feet in press the lower back down into the mat and feel as though you're going to be lifting up from the hips not from the thighs Connect with the core strength and that sense of lightness in the entire body. Inhale, come up. Breathe. Shoulders away from ears. Exhale, coming down. Now, you can repeat whatever you just did. You can do bridge, you can do wheel, or you can clasp the head with the hands. So whatever feels good for you. So we'll come back into, and this is our very last back bend. Any variation that works for you before you move up, press the low back into the mat, feel that inner strength, that inner fire. Connect with that sense of lightness and ease in the body. Take a big deep inhale. Exhale, any heaviness away. Inhale, step the feet in, lift from the hips. Option to take the head down. Interlace the hands. Press down actively into the forearms. You can walk the feet in a touch. And breathe, really lift the hips. One, two, Draw the thighs towards each other. Exhale. Come back into your mini wheel and then come all the way down. Well done. Extend the legs. Option to rock the back into the mat if that feels good for you. Just to lengthen out the lumbar spine again. Now extend the legs. Take a big deep inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Let any heaviness pour off you. Inhale, breathe deep. Exhale, let it go. And again, inhale. Exhale. Connect with any new sensations in the body. Feel the breath. Connect with your inner strength, your inner fire. But also that sense of ease and lightness and take that strength and that ease with you throughout the rest of your day. Hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. Mm -hmm.